Numbers chapter 32. Now the children of Reuben and the children of Gad had a very great multitude of cattle, and when they saw the land of Jazer, and the land of Gilead, that, behold, the place was a place for cattle. The children of Gad and the children of Reuben came and spake unto Moses, and to Eleazar the priest, and unto the princes of the congregation, saying, Adaroth, and Debon, and Jazer, and Nimrah, and Heshbon, and Elielah, and Shabam, and Nebo, and beyond. Even the country which the Lord smote before the congregation of Israel, is a land for cattle, and thy servants have cattle. Wherefore, said they, if we have found grace in thy sight, let this land be given unto thy servants for a possession, and bring us not over Jordan. And Moses said unto the children of Gad and to the children of Reuben, Shall your brethren go to war, and shall ye sit here? And wherefore discourage ye the heart of the children of Israel from going over into the land which the Lord hath given them? Thus did your fathers, when I sent them from Kadesh Barnea to see the land. For when they went up unto the valley of Eshcol, and saw the land, they discouraged the heart of the children of Israel, that they should not go into the land which the Lord had given them. And the Lord's anger was kindled the same time, and he sware, saying, Surely none of the men that came up out of Egypt, from twenty years old and upward, shall see the land which I swear unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob, because they have not wholly followed me. Save Caleb the son of Jephunneh the Kenizzite, and Joshua the son of Nun, for they have wholly followed the Lord. And the Lord's anger was kindled against Israel, and he made them wander in the wilderness forty years, until all the generation, that had done evil in the sight of the Lord, was consumed. And, behold, ye are risen up in your father's stead, an increase of sinful men, to augment yet the fierce anger of the Lord toward Israel. For if ye turn away from after him, he will yet again leave them in the wilderness, and ye shall destroy all this people. And they came near unto him, and said, We will build sheepfolds here for our cattle, and cities for our little ones, but we ourselves will go ready armed before the children of Israel, until we have brought them unto their place, and our little ones shall dwell in the fenced cities because of the inhabitants of the land. We will not return unto our houses, until the children of Israel have inherited every man his inheritance. For we will not inherit with them on yonder side Jordan, or forward, because our inheritance is fallen to us on this side Jordan eastward. And Moses said unto them, If ye will do this thing, if ye will go armed before the Lord to war. And will go all of you armed over Jordan before the Lord, until he hath driven out his enemies from before him. And the land be subdued before the Lord, then afterward ye shall return, and be guiltless before the Lord, and before Israel, and this land shall be your possession before the Lord. But if ye will not do so, behold, ye have sinned against the Lord, and be sure your sin will find you out. Build you cities for your little ones, and folds for your sheep, and do that which hath proceeded out of your mouth. And the children of Gad and the children of Reuben spake unto Moses, saying, Thy servants will do as my Lord commandeth. Our little ones, our wives, our flocks, and all our cattle, shall be there in the cities of Gilead. But thy servants will pass over, every man armed for war, before the Lord to battle, as my Lord saith. So concerning them Moses commanded Eleazar the priest, and Joshua the son of Nun, and the chief fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel. And Moses said unto them, If the children of Gad and the children of Reuben will pass with you over Jordan, every man armed to battle, before the Lord, and the land shall be subdued before you then ye shall give them the land of Gilead for a possession. But if they will not pass over with you armed, they shall have possessions among you in the land of Canaan. And the children of Gad and the children of Reuben answered, saying, As the Lord hath said unto thy servants, so will we do. We will pass over armed before the Lord into the land of Canaan, that the possession of our inheritance on this side Jordan may be ours. And Moses gave unto them, even to the children of Gad, and to the children of Reuben, and unto half the tribe of Manasseh the son of Joseph, the kingdom of Sihon king of the Amorites, and the kingdom of king of Bashan, the land, with the cities thereof and the coasts, even the cities of the country round about. And the children of Gad built Debon, and Adaroth, and Aroer, and Atroth, Shaphan, and Hazer, and Jogbah, and Beth Nimrah, and Beth Haran, fenced cities, and folds for sheep. And the children of Reuben built Heshbon, and Elielah, and Kerjathaim, and Nebo, and Bamian, their names being changed, and Shebma, and gave other names unto the cities which they builded. And the children of Machir the son of Manasseh went to Gilead, and took it, and dispossessed the Amorite which was in it. 
And Moses gave Gilead unto Machir the son of Manasseh, and he dwelt therein. And Yer the son of Manasseh went and took the small towns thereof, and called them Habath Yer. And Nobah went and took Kanoth, and the villages thereof, and called it Nobah, after his own name. Numbers chapter 33 verses 1 through 39. These are the journeys of the children of Israel, which went forth out of the land of Egypt with their armies under the hand of Moses and Aaron. And Moses wrote their goings out according to their journeys by the commandment of the Lord, and these are their journeys according to their goings out. And they departed from Ramesses in the first month, on the fifteenth day of the first month, on the morrow after the Passover the children of Israel went out with an high hand in the sight of all the Egyptians. For the Egyptians buried all their firstborn, which the Lord had smitten among them, upon their gods also the Lord executed judgments. And the children of Israel removed from Ramesses, and pitched in Succoth. And they departed from Succoth, and pitched in Etham, which is in the edge of the wilderness. And they removed from Etham, and turned again unto Piharoth, which is before Balzephon, and they pitched before Migdal. And they departed from before Piharoth, and passed through the midst of the sea into the wilderness, and went three days' journey in the wilderness of Etham, and pitched in Mara. And they removed from Mara, and came unto Elam, and in Elam were twelve fountains of water, and threescore and ten palm trees, and they pitched there. And they removed from Elam, and encamped by the Red Sea. And they removed from the Red Sea, and encamped in the wilderness of Sin. And they took their journey out of the wilderness of Sin, and encamped in Dovka. And they departed from Dovka, and encamped in Alush. And they removed from Alush, and encamped at Rephidim, where was no water for the people to drink. And they departed from Rephidim, and pitched in the wilderness of Sinai. And they removed from the desert of Sinai, and pitched at Kibroth Hatava. And they departed from Kibroth Hatava, and encamped at Hazaroth. And they departed from Hazaroth, and pitched in Rithmah, and they departed from Rithmah, and pitched at Rimon Perez. And they departed from Rimon Perez, and pitched in Libna. And they removed from Libna, and pitched at Rissa. And they journeyed from Rissa, and pitched in Kehelatha. And they went from Kehelatha, and pitched in Mount Shaffer. And they removed from Mount Shaffer, and encamped in Hereda. And they removed from Hereda, and pitched in Makaloth. And they removed from Makaloth, and encamped at Tahat. And they departed from Tahat, and pitched at Tara. And they removed from Tara, and pitched in Mithka. And they went from Mithka, and pitched in Hashmana. And they departed from Hashmana, and encamped at Moseroth. And they departed from Moseroth, and pitched in Benajaachan. And they removed from Benajaachan, and encamped at Hoajajid. And they went from Hoajajid, and pitched in Jopatha. And they removed from Jopatha, and encamped at Abrona. And they departed from Abrona, and encamped at Azion Gaber. And they removed from Azion Gaber, and pitched in the wilderness of Zin, which is Kadesh. And they removed from Kadesh, and pitched in Mount Hor, in the edge of the land of Edom. And Aaron the priest went up into Mount Hor at the commandment of the Lord, and died there, in the fortieth year after the children of Israel were come out of the land of Egypt, in the first day of the fifth month. And Aaron was an hundred and twenty and three years old when he died in Mount Hor. Luke chapter 4 verses 31 through 44. And came down to Capernaum, a city of Galilee, and taught them on the Sabbath days. And they were astonished at his doctrine, for his word was with power. And in the synagogue there was a man, which had a spirit of an unclean devil, and cried out with a loud voice, saying, Let us alone, what have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Hold thy peace, and come out of him. And when the devil had thrown him in the midst, he came out of him, and hurt him not. And they were all amazed, and spake among themselves, saying, What a word is this? For with authority and power he commandeth the unclean spirits, and they come out. And the fame of him went out into every place of the country round about. And he arose out of the synagogue, and entered into Simon's house. And Simon's wife's mother was taken with a great fever, and they besought him for her. And he stood over her, and rebuked the fever, and it left her, and immediately she arose and ministered unto them. Now when the sun was setting, all they that had any sick with divers diseases brought them unto him, and he laid his hands on every one of them, and healed them. And devils also came out of many, crying out, and saying, Thou art Christ the Son of God. And he rebuking them suffered them not to speak, for they knew that he was Christ. And when it was day, he departed and went into a desert place, 
and the people sought him, and came unto him, and stayed him, that he should not depart from them. And he said unto them, I must preach the kingdom of God to other cities also, for therefore am I sent. And he preached in the synagogues of Galilee, Luke chapter 5 verses 1 through 11. And it came to pass, that, as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, he stood by the lake of Gennesaret, and saw two ships standing by the lake, but the fishermen were gone out of them, and were washing their nets. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down, and taught the people out of the ship. Now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, Launch out into the deep, and let down your nets for a draught. And Simon answering said unto him, Master, we have toiled all the night, and have taken nothing, nevertheless at thy word I will let down the net. And when they had this done, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes, and their net brake. And they beckoned unto their partners, which were in the other ship, that they should come and help them. And they came, and filled both the ships, so that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he was astonished, and all that were with him, at the draught of the fishes which they had taken. And so was also James, and John, the sons of Zebedee, which were partners with Simon. And Jesus said unto Simon, Fear not, from henceforth thou shalt catch men. And when they had brought their ships to land, they forsook all, and followed him. Psalms chapter 64. Hear my voice, O God, in my prayer, preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, who wit their tongue like a sword, and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect, suddenly do they shoot at him, and fear not. They encourage themselves in an evil matter, they commune of laying snares privily, they say, who shall see them? They search out iniquities, they accomplish a diligent search, both the inward thought of every one of them, and the heart, is deep. But God shall shoot at them with an arrow, suddenly shall they be wounded. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves, all that see them shall flee away. And all men shall fear, and shall declare the work of God, for they shall wisely consider of His doing. The righteous shall be glad in the Lord, and shall trust in Him, and all the upright in heart shall glory. Proverbs chapter 11 verse 22. As a jewel of gold in a swine's snout, so is a fair woman which is without discretion.